Uh, number, okay, well, uh, action. I'm going to do action now, uh, just so we can get that romantic comedy shit out of the way. Uh, action, Die Hard. It, it should be on everybody's list, top five or top ten list. Number four, 300. Uh, that's another great movie going experience because after the first big battle scene, I remember seeing a horde of grown men getting up out of their seats and run to the bathroom because they could not go during that battle scene and they knew that they had to get going because it was probably going to be really cool whatever they're going to miss. So it was really fun and I remember getting up and there was this huge uh, dad and he, he and his 10 year old son were getting up and running and he looks at me and he goes, oh those are bad motherfuckers aren't they? <laughs> it's like, yeah they are! God, that was fun. I love movie moments like this. And everybody goes, oh, you know, I want to watch it on Netflix and stuff. You're, you're missing something. And uh, sometimes other people are pain in the ass, but sometimes it's fun. Uh, number three, The Dark Knight. I could easily probably put this in crime thriller, but, uh, God, that there's so many great fight scenes and chase scenes, and it's the perfect Batman movie. Uh, number two... Uh, this is my list, so I do whatever I want, uh, is a tie for the two Kill Bill movies. Now, since Tarantino shot them as one film and had to split them up, I generally count it as one. Uh, it's uh, his tribute to, God, everything he, he loves. And one of the reasons why Tarantino is kind of an influence to me is um, he is a fan of cinema. He's a fan of uh, storytelling and he makes what he wants to see and I think that is a great way to make a film or story uh, or a comic or TV series because you have to entertain yourself first and Kill Bill is just an amazing movie. But uh, there's only one action movie that's more amazing and it is John Woo's Hard Boiled, which has been my favorite action movie since I first saw it in like 93. Um, it stars Chai and Fat as a uh, cop trying to get these gun runners who are a rising force in the uh, Hong Kong mob. Uh, meanwhile, there's an undercover cop among the mob ranks who is uh, also trying to take them out at the same time and they butt heads and oh my god. This movie is like a Die Hard trilogy in one movie, and I've several times with uh, friends tried to get together and uh, see if we can do a body count. We always lose count halfway through the film. It's it's a huge action movie. Everybody in China gets shot three times, and uh, I if you haven't seen it, you need to see it. Uh, Sci-fi, uh, Star Wars: A New Hope. I mean, yeah, um, yeah. I, I admit that Empire is a better made film, but uh, these are my favorites, and I like New Hope better. Uh, the Fifth Element with Bruce! Uh, Terminator 2. And uh, I, I love Terminator. Of course, there would be no Terminator 2 without Terminator, but uh, everything is right in Terminator 2. It's, James Cameron is just... It's a shame he died, or went to a different universe, or fell back in time. I don't know what the fuck happened to Jim Cameron. Um, Still waiting for anything, Jim. Uh, Dark City is number two. Uh, that's just a killer film. It's a great uh, use of what sci-fi can do. It's from Alex Boyas, who uh, made The Crow, and I actually think this is an even better film than The Crow. Um, I, I, I'm just. It's amazing what he does, and you know this film couldn't have been that big of a budget. Um, maybe he had a little bit budget because The Crow was successful. But, uh, God, what a great little twisty film. Uh, some people compared this to The Matrix, but I think it's actually an even better film than The Matrix. And, um, although it's not as action-y as The Matrix. And uh, number one is uh, probably the most different film, but I think, to me, it says everything that you need to about what science fiction can do. And I'm a big fan of The Internal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. I think... Now, you could call that a romantic comedy or a drama, but uh, it's a science fiction film. Because, uh, let's see, Jim Carrey, uh, Kate Winslet, uh, each uh, 
take part in uh, an experiment to erase their memories of each other. And uh, Jim Carrey's character decides halfway through the experiment, uh, or halfway through the process, it's not an experiment, uh, to s stop it, not do it. And he's he, he's basically running around through his memories, and God would have, and basically, I mean, it's about you know love lost and and uh, trying trying to get something back in your life, and God, it's so touching and it's so beautifully shot. And it's so smart, uh, and it, it to me it's what science fiction can do. Science fiction isn't just is not just you know uh, you know shooting aliens. It's you know the idea of what science can do and how people react to it, and uh, in certain situations and stories and characters, and you know how we go about our lives. And I think this is a really great example. Uh, comedy. Ghost World, which could have been drama, but eh, it makes me laugh. Uh, Raising Arizona, uh, Airplane. Uh, you guys, I don't remember your names. The uh, the guys who are doing date movie and epic movie and disaster movie need to stop. You need to shut the fuck up. Because uh, Airplane, Airplane is how it's done. Maybe you should watch that movie and see how different that is than what you're doing. Uh, the Zucker brothers know how to make a, a spoof. You're the fucker brothers. That's what I think. And uh, the Big Lebowski. The the dude abides. And uh, uh, I got two Coen Brothers movies on here. Raising Arizona and uh, Big Lebowski. The Coen Brothers can... I don't know. I I guess they have done wrong. They've done a couple of films that I wasn't too crazy about. But, God, they're just... The Big Lebowski is just so smart and funny the whole way through. And... That is just great filmmaking. And Ghostbusters is my favorite comedy. I just... I, that, that's a film I quote all the time. And I just... I see, see it every so often. I still laugh. I just... Every time I see it, it's funny. And, uh... Okay, now we're gonna go to Thriller. Uh... Raising Cain from, um... I thought about this. This one with uh, John Lithgow. It's directed by Brian De Palma. That's also another good movie going experience I had because the audience did not know where to, whether to laugh or to be disgusted. And you heard that uncomfortable laughter like several times uh, with an audience during, during the movie. Uh, God, what a neat film. Uh, the Usual Sp Suspects from Brian uh, Singer. Uh, Vertigo from uh, Alfred Hitchcock. Uh, I mean, he's made so much brilliant stuff, but Vertigo tends to be my, my favorite. Uh, seven at number two uh, from uh, David Pincher, uh, the little thriller about a uh, serial killer who has quite uh, quite strong feelings about the seven deadly sins, and uh, Fight Club. Now I guess I don't know. I guess it's a thriller. I didn't. I had no idea what category Fight Club went into. Uh, I walked out of that theater just with shit in my pants because it was so great and I just I every time I think about it, I mean I do kind of get goosebumps every time I still watch it it's just such a phenomenal movie and uh, I uh, read the book a couple of years later because I like the movie so much and I'm just deeply impressed with how well Fincher was able to translate this book uh, into a film I mean you know when you think about it it's probably not an easy book to translate and God what a great job